Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and they have just released the official teaser trailer for episode 14, Derision. Like, I swear, this weekend, they were just like, oh, Hayes, just trying to have a nice, relaxing weekend before PhD supervision tomorrow? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's give her two trailers. <laughs> so it's linked down below. Please go and watch it before I spoil it all for you now when I analyse it, but please, no leaks in the comments. Thank you very much, besties. So the trailer opens with a flashback of younger Marinette with a bun in her hair. We know it's a flashback because of the way it looks around her edges of the screen. And then it moves to Marinette and Adrian arriving at the swimming pool for a cute little swimming date. But Adrian does look kind of concerned about Marinette, and I think that's kind of explained later on. So then we get another flashback of Marinette and Kim, and I'm like, were they on a date? So I'm a little bit like, did Marinette used to have a crush on Kim before Adrian came to school? Obviously, Marinette and Kim used to be in the same class. Ali and Adrian were new ones at the start of the year. Not quite sure what's going on. They seem okay with it. As Adrian goes to get out of the pool, he wants Marinette's help for some reason. I don't know, he suddenly became incapable of walking. But Marinette completely freaks out and she runs off, which don't run at the pool, kids. That's not good, you'll fall over. And Kim and... Odin, Ondine, I'm not sure how to say her name, the girl who was akumatized in Siren who is now going out with Kim. I believe they're still together, we don't really get updates on them since they're not the main characters. Kim starts laughing, I don't really understand why. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think Kim is the nicest person, he's often sided with Chloe before, but like, I, yeah, Kim, like, to me, like, for the most part, is largely nice, and even if Marinette used to have a crush on him or something at some point, I would have thought, like, I wouldn't have thought he would have done anything to be horrible to her, you know? Like, I don't think Kim is the, like, the nicest character in the show, but he's certainly, he's certainly not the worst. So I'm a bit confused. And then he swims off and Adrian and Undyne Odine look very annoyed with him. And uh, as Kim swims underwater, he looks pretty annoyed as well. So I'm a bit confused what Kim has said, presumably about Marinette and what these other two have said to him. Whatever it is, it certainly doesn't look like a good situation. And then Marinette, I would assume, in the changing room, is about to be akumatized. Um, however, I'm not really worried. <laughs> I don't think she's going to be akumatized. As we saw in Elation, she nearly got there, but wasn't. So I would like her to be akumatized, but, um, you know, I doubt it's going to happen. So then we see Monarch Daddy give the power of the monkey to someone, and later on in the trailer, we then see Kim re akumatize as Dark Cupid, but I would assume with the power of the monkey miraculous, which does make a lot of sense since he is the one who used to use it as King Monkey. So just on first glance, the Dark Cupid costume looks fairly similar to what we got back in season one, and then he was also re akumatized back in Heroes Day as Dark Cupid. However, this time he has like a little thing over his eye and I wasn't sure what it was at first however in this next shot we can see he is firing two arrows at these two children I think and they both have something on the end and one of them looks like a cactus so maybe this eyepiece like gives him the power to work out an object that's going to really mess with them because the monkey power is like about messing with people causing derision so um that's what I think maybe it is I'm not sure how that would work though. So I can't wait to find that out. However, Ladybug and Cat Noir come in and stop him and then he just fires more arrows with other things on the end. And we see Ladybug and um, she's holding a lucky charm and I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it kind of looks like a toilet. <laughs> I hope it's not, but just on first glance, it's the only image we have of it on the trailer. Looks a little bit like a toilet. <laughs> But anyway, so the rest of it is just Dark Cupid firing arrows and Cat Noir fighting him and Ladybug being like, no, don't do that. So maybe something happens to Cat Noir in this. I don't know. It looks very interesting for sure, especially like with Kim and Marinette. I am. Um, I'm not sure it's exactly what the trailer is hinting at, but if it is, I a bit like, really? <laughs> it's a bit strange to me, but OK. But either way, it seems like Kim didn't treat Marinette very nicely and when it kind of comes up in this situation it seems like he still doesn't treat her very nicely even though like he's aware like everyone's aware she's in love with Adrian now if that makes sense it just seems like a bit of a weird situation but it seems Marinette is in a weird mood because it seems at some point in the past she and Kim maybe went on a date or just went together to the swimming pool um, and it didn't end up working out so she's gone with Adrian so it's already make her worried and then on top of that, Kim and his new girlfriend are also there, which, again, would probably make her worried. So, someone's going to ask, hey, when is this airing? Well, besties, I have no idea. So now we have the teaser trailer for Migration and Derision and no air dates, but Adoration episode 17 is airing on Tuesday. 
<laughs> the episodes are obviously ready, so I don't understand why Gloob is choosing to show episode 17 over, for example, Migration first. I don't get it, but um, yeah, no air date for it right now, but Adoration will be airing on Tuesday. So I'd love to know what you think of this trailer, besties. Please keep the comments leak-free, and I'll see you in the next one.